Take two, no coffee. Light, big hugs, big hugs, big hugs. Big hugs. Big hugs. And kisses. All right, give me sugars. All right, lovey. All right, thank you. Bye, 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 bye. All right, love you, boo. Bye, y'all be careful. Bye, yeah, bye, bye, Ashton. All right, we'll take the All right, we will see y'all in five months. We'll be here. Huh? How about you, Nita? Y'all can come back anytime <laughs> while we're gone, Ashton, and look for the cats. Bye! Got it? Bye! Bye. Love you! Love you! Hey, we're inside the truck. We're literally ready to leave right now. Yeah, waiting on the last little load of laundry to dry, and then we'll um, pack up what little bit's left and head out. Yeah, look at the back of the truck. Completely packed. Packed. I mean, the back of the truck, of course, is really packed, but even the back seat is packed. But lots of stuff. Yeah, hey, but it's good. Okay, the trip to Dumas, Arkansas, which is just our overnight spot, we just kind of picked it arbitrarily, and then we found out that a good friend used to live in the area. Yeah. Larry Goldstein, shout out to Larry. Yes, he said he would come get me if I need to abort mission. Yeah, we hope that doesn't so, happen. Yeah, don't need to, hopefully I won't need him on speed dial. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna overnight in Dumas in the pouring rain and then head to Hot Springs. Now, according to the map and map quest to Dumas, Arkansas is about three and a half hours, about 185 miles, and we're gonna take a two lane road because I love two lane roads and not traveling the interstate. So with some good luck, and no flat tires, engine problems, broken axles, runaway trailers, or any other catastrophe, including, well, we're leaving the cats here, so yes. we won't have any cat wrangling problems. <laughs> we should be in Dumas, Arkansas sometime around, I don't know, three, four, four o'clock, take a leisurely lunch, and see what happens. Set up camp for the night yeah. and get ready. It's just a quick overnight. Yeah, we'll see you there. Well, we made it. Well, no, we actually didn't make it. We didn't make, make it. We, we didn't make it very far. We didn't. We, yeah, we didn't make it very far. <laughs> we got to the top of the driveway and realized, whoopsie, trailer brakes aren't working. So we drove very slowly into Jackson, into a Chevrolet dealer. and unhitched in their parking lot. And now we're sitting in our own private waiting room. Waiting to see if they're able to fix it. Right. Yes. This is Shannon's introduction yes. to RV travel. Always the unexpected, but no big deal. A lesson in flexibility. Absolutely. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully they just pulled the truck into the service bay and hopefully they'll be able to figure out a way to fix the trailer brakes because uh, it it would be very difficult to pull this trailer certainly not on the highway and probably not on a two-lane road without the trailer brakes super hard to stop if they can't fix it here we've got an appointment in Little Rock that we can limp on there day after tomorrow and just leave it but we've got till about two o'clock today, today two or three o'clock uh, to get to Dumas uh, you know, hopefully this is just a a speed bump and not a roadblock. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see.